sights on. I like drone, twilight zone, fly like I'm stone. Yeah. They way gone, J way is known. Go hard, go home, get money long. My life up, flow like up, hoes like yup. I'm like fuck. Where's my Phone. The only thing that changes is as you start to improve, the issues start to change. Maybe right now you're focused on women. I know for me, when I first got into this, my biggest issue was just women. Understanding women, understanding the red pill, female nature. And now, a few years into it, my issues have nothing to do with women. I don't care about that. I'm not focused on that. My priorities, my focus has shifted. How can I make more money? How can I expand my different social media platforms? You see what happens there, bro. As you start to level up, your problems start to shift from these simple issues issues that you can definitely overcome to now bigger issues but these are good issues to have how can you grow how can you level up even more that's what it comes down to bro so to bring things full circle the majority of men are invisible to women simply because they're lazy unambitious they're not putting in the work they're not leveling up they're not focused on their top priorities they prioritize the wrong things they don't set standards for themselves and as a result they're average at best mediocre individuals and women are not going to give you a shot bro you can't even get your foot in the door bro you don't deserve that foot in the door bro to get that foot in the door you have to ask yourself am i the guy that women want if you're not understand what they're looking for how to attract more women and then go from there bro attack each weakness is it your fashion is it your body is it your smile is it your face is it your money car whatever the case may be attack the problem attack the weakness go from there keep leveling up i promise you bro give it time and you'll be in a much better spot women are going to be knocking on your door yo 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 what up youtube welcome to sin take man my name is jay sin coming back with another one man listen if y'all up today man understand that y'all blessed man the most high done woke us up and blessed us with another opportunity to be great man let me show y'all what it looked like out here on this beautiful summer day man you know what i mean we got everybody out of course the gym lot is empty you know what i mean everybody but the uh, everybody who usually in the gym ain't there. You know what I'm saying? You just got the usual hard hitters that's there. You know what I mean? We got to get it in no matter what so we can enjoy the day. But listen, bro, I just wanted to leave y'all with this message. All right, please give your girl something to miss, okay? Give her a reason to miss your ass, all right? Stop hovering over these women. Stop clinging to these women and get your ass out there and give her a reason to miss your ass. Okay? Get out there. Stay on your purpose, bro. Go to the gym. Work on your body. You know, brainstorm with some friends on how to grow a business. Anything, bro. You know what I mean? Go hang out. You know what I mean? And be a good OG to some of your nieces and nephews and shit like that, bro. But go do something productive and give these women a reason to miss you. Because all that hovering, you know what I mean? Always being there for her. Always being under her. Like I said before, bro. It ain't gonna do you no good. You know, it's healthy for both of y'all in that relationship to have time apart. You know, a lot of the times, man... You got women that won't get these, you got, you got, you got men that won't get these women they space. And then y'all wondering why she acting out. Y'all wondering why she, you know, got an attitude, bro. It's because you're not giving her no space. You gotta know where she at every minute of the day. You, you, you texting and calling her while y'all both at work, bro. Listen, bro, allow that separation. When that separation happens, then it brings y'all closer. You know what I mean? I done made videos like this before and this gonna be another one because I see way too often where, you know, out in public and in some of these places, these women just be looking frustrated. You know what I mean? They looking frustrated and you got the guy that's just hovering all over them, won't even give them a chance to, you know what I mean? Like for example, in the gym, won't even give them a chance to get they work out on. You know what I'm saying? Won't even give these women a chance to hang out with their girls and, you know, take a load off. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to be there all the time. You got to be that guy who just ain't got shit else better to do but keep tabs of her. 
And that's just never a good look. Ain't nothing masculine about that, bro. Women love men that's on their purpose. I'm not saying y'all got to be playing these women to the left and ignoring the shit out of them and all of that. No, those are called games. You don't need to play those type of games. You really need to be on top of your business. We got a lot of t- a lot of things that we could be working on. You know what I mean? We got a lot of stuff that we could be working on about ourselves. We got a lot of things that we could be working on to get our finances up, to get our health up. You know what I'm saying? Trying to change this up here. This or this this is this a whole job. This a whole vibe in its own. You know what I mean? Rewiring this shit and how we think and how we go about these relationships. And I got to tell y'all this because guess what? I used to be that guy that, that always wanted to be under this girl, always keeping tabs of her, always playing motherfucking where you going, man, and all of that other shit, bro. And listen, dog, that shit ain't nothing masculine about it. it ain't a good look, dog. It's not a good look for you, bro. You should be having your own shit to do instead of trying to keep up with her and wonder where she going, bro. If you on top of your shit, dog, you ain't even worried about where she going and what she up to. You know what I'm saying? Because you already know you solid on your end. You already know you a good one. You already know you on top of your biz. And guess what, bro? When you know that, bro, and you really own that, then she know that. So she not going to do nothing to jeopardize that, bro. So all of that extra shit that you doing, bro, just make you look soft. Make you look emotional. Make you look feminine. Make you look not confident. Make it look like you got low self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? But when you on journeys like this and you working on yourself, bro, listen, dog, your masculinity in, in tip top shape, you in tip top shape, bro, everything that you got going with yourself, bro, is on point. You ain't even worried about that. You not worried about that shit. And that be the problem these days, bro. You got a bunch of motherfuckers just worried about the wrong thing. You know, and when you on top, if you was on top of your shit, you wouldn't even be worried about other niggas and them motherfuckers hollering at her and all of that shit, bro. That should be the last thing you should be worried about, bro, because listen, nine times out of ten, if these women gonna go, it's nothing you can do about it, bro. If she already got her mind made up here, she gonna fuck. You can't stop that. You gotta let nature take its course and continue to focus on you. Real talk. I don't even want y'all to be scared of being made a fool of, a fool of, bro. Because at the end of the day, when you a good one, she gonna lose no matter what. You know, and that that used to be something that I used to be worried about too. I don't want to be out here looking dumb. Don't nobody want to be out here looking dumb. You know what I'm saying? But when you a good one, bro, she the one that looks stupid. She looks stupid to everybody when she fuck up what y'all got. And that's what you need to understand. She looks stupid to everybody when she fuck up what y'all had. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody in the world knew that you was a good one but her. So what you think that's going to make her look like, bro? Especially when you out here looking good, handling business, got good energy. You nice, bro. Listen, dog. You a good dude. Listen, dog, bro. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying like you them punk ass nice guys that just get ran over. But no, you a solid man out here. You not out here hating on the next motherfucker, dropping salt on the next motherfucker. You just focused on you. That's what I mean. You know what I mean? The people tend to feel that energy every time you around. So guess who gonna look dumb when she double cross you? Guess who gonna look dumb when she play you? So you shouldn't worry about that. But you really got to get out there and get some business, bro, instead of being all in hers. You really got to get out there and stay on your purpose, bro, instead of worrying about what she doing, bro. Because she probably not, bro, more than likely she on her purpose. She doing her thing, but you making it hard for her. A lot of the times we do, bro, we got to, man, listen, bro, I'm going to hold myself accountable. We got to hold ourselves accountable over here. Accountability is big while on this journey. A lot of the times, bro, we be screwing up these situations by not having business of our own, not allowing that space, bro. When you allow that space, that brings her closer to you. Make her motherfucking wonder what you at, where you at. Make her start whining about y'all needing to spend more time together. Let, let's keep it basic, bro. Make her whine about that shit. Make her complain that you not home enough. Yeah. Let's leave that to her. 
Not the flip side where you bitching. Why you always got to go out with your girls? Why you always got to do this? Why you always got to be at the gym? Why you always... Because your bitch ass always around her. That's why she needs that space. That's why she motherfucking always want to go out with her girls. And then your punk ass sitting at home wondering what she doing. Blowing her phone up. Nigga, if you don't go out there with the guys, nigga, I mean, come on, bro. For real, for real. For real, for real, dog. Don't let that shit be vice versa, bro, where she need, she need, she want to go out with the girls because your ass is, ain't giving her no space. You know what I'm saying? But when you are giving her that space, guess what, bro? She want to be around you. She don't want to waste a moment without you. She always waiting on you to get home. You know what I'm saying? She always wanting to be around you and shit like that because she miss you, bro. She love your energy, bro. She love the knowledge you have, bro. She love everything about you. That's what you want. That's what you want. And that come from separation. You know what I mean? That come from you handling business out of man, like a man and not running around here like a little boy just hanging out with the homies not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Not doing nothing productive, bruh, but just wanting to be around her and then just out when you is out, you just doing dumb shit, doing nothing that's not benefiting to the household, doing nothing that's not benefiting to the family, and doing nothing that's beneficial to yourself, bro. Listen, all of those is bad looks, but when you going to work, bruh, you going to the gym, dog, you know what I'm saying? You you hanging out with people that 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 that's important in your life. You know what I'm saying? And all of that stuff, bro. You just doing things that's that's beneficial to you and your kids and shit like that. Like, you just always just, you know what I mean? Just out handling business, bro. Just, you know, no nonsense. Not saying that you can't fuck off. Nobody saying that. You can do that. But give her her space, too. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, bro. That's all I'm saying, man. Because, like I said, man. We, 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 we tend to forget about that shit and we be wondering why these women be acting out. And then we look at everything else. We go to accusing and doing all this other shit instead of looking at us. So this for y'all that may be in relationships or may be looking to get in one, bro. Let that space be created by staying on your grind, staying on your purpose, working on yourself. You know what I mean? Constantly doing your shadow work constantly trying to level up in your life bro when the level up is happening in your life bro that's gonna get them panties wet no matter what that's gonna create that separation no matter what then she complaining that she want to spend more time with you dog that's what you want that's what you want you want to have to make make motherfucking space in your schedule dog you want to have to do that shit because you got a lot of things going on in your life that's beneficial to yourself, your future, your kids, and everybody, even her. Even her. It's beneficial to her. You know what I mean? And the real women understand that. They understand that to a certain extent. But at the end of the day, they just going to want you, bro. They just want time. You have to, You have to have that develop, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying you got to have all these friends. Listen, bro, you know, I got friends, but a lot of us, we be on our own shit. So we don't get that time to hang out, bro. You know, but I still got a, a, a full healthy schedule of things that I could be doing that's going to help further my motherfucking journey along. You got to find those things, too. Because a lot of motherfuckers are sitting around wondering why they keep relapsing. It's because your ass sitting in the house fapping and doing nothing all day. A lot of y'all wondering why y'all constantly gaining all this weight. It's because you sitting around in the house eating Little Caesars pizza, junk food, honey buns, honey buns, motherfucking ice cream. And ain't doing nothing with your time all day. Get up. Go walking. Enjoy nature. You know what I'm saying? Get off these motherfucking phones and stop all that scrolling. The only thing getting strong on your ass is your thumbs. Okay? We need to stop that shit. Get out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole world that's out there waiting for you. Nothing but opportunities. The most high. I do not say this for no reason. The most high grant us another day because he knows that he has a plan for us. But you got to get your ass up too. We can't be relying on everybody else to help us. 
We got to get out there and help ourselves, bro. Yeah, you know, we get these days. The Most High bless us with another opportunity, but he still want to see you get up and go for the gusto too. You got to get up and put forth effort. He not going to do it for you. You not, He not going to do it all for you. He didn't woke your black ass up. Now, if a motherfucker didn't woke your black ass up, you need to get up and put your left foot in front of your right and start putting in work. That's it. Meet, meet, meet motherfuckers halfway. And stop expecting them to do the brunt of the work, bro. And, and, and do that on you, let alone do that. You want people to do the brunt of the work for you? To level you up? Nah, it ain't gonna happen like that. It don't work like that. So you can continue waiting or you can get your ass up and go get something in your life. Go do something with your life. Go gain something in your life. Go be something in your life. You know what I mean? Or do nothing. And wondering why you keep getting played, slayed, used, abused, and ain't going nowhere. And that's my word, man. My name is Jason and Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. All day. I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. Uh, I'm in uh, here to do my job, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. What I do all ain't day. a facade, this is all J. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. I'm in here to